Fighting out of the red corner with head trainer Gary Lockett, wearing blue with red official weight, 134 and one half pounds. His professional record, 37 victories with 19 knockouts, only one defeat and one draw. He's the challenger tonight, and he's the fighting pride of Newbridge, Wales, United Kingdom, the former WBA super lightweight world champion, Gavin the Rock Breeze. And fighting out of the blue corner with his head trainer, Michael Stafford, wearing red, white, and silver, officially weighing in at 134 pounds. His professional record, 25 fights, 25 victories, including 21 knockouts. From Cincinnati, Ohio, the two-time, two-division world champion and reigning, defending, undefeated, WBC lightweight champion of the world, Adrian. The problem, Brown. All right, Adrian, come on. All right, gentlemen, considered low. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, let's get this thing on. With Adrian Broner yesterday, and he was asked. The kind of pr about the kind of pressure he feels after that DeMarco performance because that he's not going to try to top right, himself, but trust him. The odds on this fight make Tyson Douglas look like an expected squeaker. Here, as you can see, quicker it almost goes without saying with a chopping right hand to the back of Broner's head. Referee Earl Brown moves forward to caution him on it. <laughs> Runner blocked Reese's left with his right glove. Reese is not fighting like he's intimidated. No, he's not intimidated at all, but he does come straight down. Reese is. <laughs> he did his homework and he jumped. A couple of body shots for Reese. So far, Broner has contented himself to throw a couple of jabs. Reese believes he can take advantage of Broner's very wide stance, which Broner maintains. Well, it might, in fact, create that situation. He has a uh, reason that is that he's backing up. He can't back off of Broner uh, to hit him because he has to push Broner back. Then it would be hard for Broner to adjust with the last thing. Broner seems very relaxed. You know, Reese is winning the round. <laughs> More good body shots for Reese. Broner finally throws the right hand. It was just a nice good left hook by Broner, and Reese clocks him with a right hand upstairs. Another right hand lands for Reese. Reese won that round. Well, he certainly created more action. Everything, okay? What I want you to do is go straight up the middle. Keep I warn him about pushing your head down, but you punch it on the top of his head. Uh, he come, Reese come with two beautiful left body shots. Something that we haven't seen many guys try on Broner, but at least he came to try something See out of different. most of his opponents. Copy box executing it, and he's ha he has the hand speed to do it. That's the most as surprising. As long as Reese can maintain some of that hand speed, and Broner wants to stand with his feet, he'll land body shots. Don't push your head down. He also just landed a pretty good straight right hand. More body shots from Reese. Isn't landing that solidly, but it's most of the punching is being done by Reese. That's what he's basically trying to do to Reese. He's gonna have to hit Reese harder to take his confidence away. Reese is a and Reese is also moving his head more than he has in the past. One of the reasons the odds were so low. But you heard the caution of Gary Lockett between rounds, and he said, "Watch out! He's a counter punch." Hook lands upstairs for Reese, and that gets a big rise from the crowd. They call and he lands it. two more body shots. Reese so far that the good old-time lack of height to their advantage by getting so low it becomes hard for their opponent to hit them. But staying outside, he's going to run into big Now Broner's starting to land some clean shots. Right hand lead for Broner. Good right hand by Broner. Dropping the right hand on Reese's chin. But that straight right hand is starting to close the eye a little bit. You may want to start trying to keep that off of him. 
Okay, come on, sit back. Okay, you answer. Mark 16. Right. Uh, let's go. Right, right now. Open, bro. Yeah. yeah let's roll go. up with the bolo and steal the straight right lead. Straight down the middle. Boom, good right yeah, hand. He shows down. a little bit too much, and Reese catches him while he's in the middle of a shuffle with a good left hook. Right, even though Broner landed some good shots in that round to give you the sense he was in control. Solid shots by Broner there. Left hook shot. Boxing main event, Adrian Broner in the red trunks against Gavin Reese. Good right hand by Broner. Reese dropping his hands and showing Broner his head movement. No a cocky little Welshman. And he has a sneaky quick left hook that he brings from so down low and then throws Broner's hand speed starting great more oh, opportunities for it. Broner hurt him bad with that yep. left hook right there. Yep. Almost dropped him with that left hook. And he's still coming at Broner with everything he's got. Here's a body shot for Broner. Uppercut lands for Broner. Accurate. Starting to pick Reese off. Reese reaches out and grabs. The corner that's so fantastic is here's a, a real game power on top of the speed and the change of fight quickly. Come on, you hear me? You break him, hey, you break him down when he start holding you and stop. Because when you do that, you're outworking him because he's only throwing ones and twos. Yeah. It's when you stand inside, that's when you stand one low threes, fours and fives, okay? Yeah. Right, son? That right hand lead has been his best weapon. After that, he put it with a nice uppercut, a right hook. Great combination. For Reese, Adrian Broner went to a different level in the third round. Harold the direction, the momentum of the fight is changing. Two to one, 29-28, Gavin Reese. Uh, I think the first two rounds away. In round three, Adrian Broner became Adrian Broner. He clearly won the third round. Two to one, Gavin Reese. I heard Gary Lockett in the corner tell Reese not to reach. And I think Broner gave him a little distance. And started oh. coming in. There he is. Right upper. He's hurt pretty Six. bad. Seven. Eight. Where you at? Huh? Nine. Okay. All right. Second time in his career that Gavin Reese has campus. Broner did it with a single shot. A beautiful right up cut. When he went down against Katelnik in 08, the 12th round after a long fight. So this is the first time that Reese has ever been knocked down while still relatively fresh in the fight. Uh, those body shots again, and slow Broner down a little bit. But Broner is getting into the target practice area. So he's letting him have it right there in front of him. And look at the heart of him. Still some fight left in Gavin Reese. A lot of fight left in Reese. The way he's communicating with the fighter. They have a great future doing that. He's only 23 years old. He has a, a calculated body attack. He almost dropped with a body shot right there. Gavin Reese took some hellacious punishment in the fourth round. There's that beautiful right up cut right on the chin that uh, Reese was not looking for. Caught him off. He hit him up with the elbow, and boom, there was the right up cut. Right as he thought. Mike Stafford is proving with Adrian Broner, as he already proved with power shots in the fourth round. Broner was 40 of 67. Reese 22 of 58. As he and I think that's probably what Gary Lockett was saying between rounds is if you turn like this, you're gonna take too many counter punches. Well, I think Lockett started thinking about stopping the fight. That Broner just said the round before that that he thought uh, Reese had two more rounds and it was over with for him. And his last three fights combined. <laughs> That Larkin, I mean, that Reese has a heart, son. He is one stubborn guy. Because he, he, he's started to take a real beat. And a good thing, I guess, because Reese has landed two solid right hands in this round. Well, he's trying his hardest, son. It doesn't get better than this. As Lightweights. As well. And he's still fighting and still hitting Broner cleanly. Rapping on the way to the ring and clowning and all that that's what's connecting with the fans uses that stuff to do damage 100 percent it's because he, fighter. he is there to try to knock his opponent out oh oh 
Another uppercut. This time we go. was a body shot that Reese wasn't ready for. He Good. thought it was going to go? break. All right, let's go. And the left uppercut. <laughs> now Reese is in trouble again. And Gary Lockett is up on the ring apron with the white towel. So there's the TKO as trainer Gary Lockett wants, stopping the fight from the corner. Good performance as a trainer. He yep. had his man prepared as well. Trainer, and we'll see more of Gavin Reese, the fighter. And we're certainly going to see a whole lot more of Mike Stafford and Adrian Brunson. <laughs> when was the last time he performance that you didn't want to see? And he closed the show here, landing 40. Uh, first the knockdown, Roy. Yeah, I like the right-hand lead. I love the right-hand lead all night long, but the body shot here is the one he relaxed. And boom, there was the body shot right as he relaxed. And it wasn't low. It was Once again, that right-hand lead is right there. Brunner sees that the ref's not coming in, so he's still fighting. And that was a great body shot. He relaxed like to that. Gavin reached his head. Lockett gave it a moment of wait and then had seen it up. Not if he yes. himself. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the Referee Earl Brown calls a halt at about the official time. Adrian, the problem.